But first to the US and he is back. Yes, Creepy Joe is back. President Joe Biden went off script this week and it went all wrong when he made these bizarro comments about a little girl while giving a speech at a military base in Virginia. Now, keep in mind, the little girl he's talking about is primary school aged. I, uh, I love those barrettes in her hair, man. I tell you what, and look at her. She looks like she's 19 years old sitting there with her, like a little lady with her legs crossed. Ew, what? The little girl is like eight or nine. Let's not comment on how she crosses her legs and pretend that she looks like she's 19. You can imagine the media meltdown if Trump said anything like that. But the media is too busy being dazzled by Biden's ice cream choices. Mr. President, what did you order? Chocolate, chocolate chip. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, that was earlier in the week. The media ooing and aahing about Biden's preferred ice cream choices. But Biden wasn't just having ice cream and making creepy comments about little girls this week. He also attended a FEMA briefing where he announced a billion dollar policy. And it was all going well as he read his notes. Today I'm announcing that FEMA is going to make a $1 billion available to the states territories, tribes, and rural communities through the Building Resilience Infrastructure and Communities Program. But as soon as he went off script, the president again struggled. But uh, there's, you know, there to be, you know, beginning uh, this effort uh, for 2021 is, uh, I think we've learned a few lessons from last year as well. There's help us, we, there, you know, being. OK, I'm glad he cleared that up. Of course, anyone who has been paying attention knows that Biden's bizarro and sometimes creepy antics and comments are nothing new. Even CNN, when they were Team Hillary Clinton, highlighted Biden's weird, touchy-feely ways. Have a look at this. There are hugs where you just throw up your arms and go for it. And then there are hugs that keep going and going and going. Joe Biden wouldn't let Hillary go as they met on the tarmac at Scranton Airport. About four seconds into the hug, they semi-disengage. Nothing to see here, right? Wrong, because the vice president wouldn't unhand Hillary for almost 16 seconds. Notice how many times she tries to tap out. She lets it go, he does not. Uh, she tap out. Nope, she's just, uh, no, he's still holding on. Okay, second tap out, for God's sake, Joe, you gotta let go. This latest awkward hug would not have been microanalyzed if it hadn't been for all the other overly handy Biden moments. Critics collect them. Times when he gently rearranges a young girl's hair and whispers in her ear, then rearranges some more. Of course, you wouldn't see any coverage like that on CNN now, that they, along with the bulk of the media, is acting as the Biden administration's propaganda arm. You can be sure they'd be interested if Trump was sniffing women's hair, talking about how a primary school age girl looks 19, or explaining how children used to touch his hairy legs. Oh, you didn't think I'd forget that doozy. I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs. That turn that 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 turn uh, um, blonde in the sun, and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down, so it was straight, and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap, and I've loved kids jumping on my lap. That is now the leader of the free world and we're all expected to pretend he has no cognitive issues whatsoever.